It's the mat work. So I had a question. So I'm on, I'm going through like week three right now. Uh, I read like the two branding guides, like the 30 ways to differentiate and like the 22 immutable laws. Definitely like rattled a lot of the stuff that I did like the previous week. So I had to kind of go back and fix stuff. Um, but my, one of my main questions that I'm kind of like struggling with right now is that, so going through like those immutable laws and like whatnot, so how to really differentiate yourself, you want to like kind of hone in on one kind of like what really makes you different and then bring people along like the bridge of how that's similar to everything else. Right. And like connect. So that kind of comes. So right now what I'm trying to figure out is what kind of songs I should be like releasing and like when I guess, cause I legitimately was like trying to find like songs that sound like similar to one kind of sound, what one kind of like sound that I have for this song. And I could not find anything like that was in like the 2010s. It was like back in the 2000s. That's about it, like Lincoln Park stuff. So that's like the closest stuff I had for, um, what do you call it? Like the similar sound stuff. I know in, I think it was like week two, uh, you said like the three songs that would go on a playlist, like, one of them was like a Post Malone song off his like album that just came on, uh, came out, but the other two were Lincoln Park. So what I'm trying to decide is do I, should I be releasing the songs that sound like different now or go with what's, what people are used to now or kind of do both and then whichever one latches on and gets a better attraction, just hone in on that and keep going. All right, the marker of mine always is basically something that goes to what you said secondly, just from a testing standpoint, but um, to really put it like this, the things that are different, it sounds different now, but people, it's still familiar. It might sound different than what's popular right now, but people are familiar with samples, right? Yeah. The things that sound like, so in all the, all those intonations are permeating throughout music here and there anyway. You don't have to worry about that. I would, if you really have that, I would start with one that's more different now, right? The, the old Linkin Park stuff like or okay. whatever is in, in that category because people know who Lincoln Park is people have heard stuff like that but you need to yeah. present it in a way that feels modern that's where you make the similarity the music might sound like that and people rock with it from that familiar standpoint but then you have other parts of your brand like a music video how things look and feel from that right or or whatever there's so many other small things that you can do to make them similar okay and uh as far as like the story like uh i don't know if you remember i was trying to like basically create this in the sense like the audience is basically follows me on my journey right because like it, it was more about um what like like the first phase really getting like the people to understand okay this is like all the dark shit and like the when i was like in a bad place it happened uh -huh. so should i be starting from like the beginning of the story or should i it doesn't matter where I'm starting and it's just about like what I do and the content that I put out around the time where I release a song or is it better to just go in like a chronological order in the story? It doesn't matter, bro. Like, it doesn't matter? No. It's just you communicating it, how you package it and how do you, how do you push it. it? We have things that come out in chronological order and then we have those things that all of a sudden come out with a prequel. They both can be successful. Uh, it's the okay, same okay. thing. It's just how when you decide the project and music is ready to go out, now it's like, okay, I didn't do it chronologically, so I'm going to communicate that this is a space that I was in, I've been holding. You know, you, you just communicate differently around it so people understand it, right? If you want them to mm -hmm. get that part of it. But <clears throat> it doesn't matter. Packaging is where all that stuff is, it gets created. Okay. So I shouldn't really, like, worry about that. Just... This, this is why I talk, try to tell artists so much. Like when you're in your creative bag, do your creative stuff. Don't worry about the, the marketing thing so much because the marketing thing can take anything and, and figure out how to get it to it, where it needs to be. All right. It's because it's all about the language, the, the words that you use around it, where we place it and the, the dressing. It's the makeup. Right. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. all it is.